Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at custom JS callbacks for ranges with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new file here. Uh, and I'm going to call this uh, Bokeh custom JS um, ranges.py. And let's go on and get in some of our standard uh, imports in here. So let's do import num numpy as np as np. Uh, import um, from bokeh.layouts. Here we want to import a row. Then from bokeh.models, import in here. And we want to grab the box annotation uh, and our custom JS. That's kind of the star of today's show. Uh, let's also do from bokeh.plotting. We want to import in here figure and show. Uh, and then we'll also want to kind of, let's create up some uh, some data. So let's say n is equal to 4,000, we'll have 4,000 points. x is equal to mp.random, dot random of size n, um, multiply by 100. Then we'll do y is equal to mp.random, dot random, size n multiplied by 100 again. Um, and you know what? Um, yeah, it's not necessary to, to set a seed for us today. Um, so now we also want to uh, set up our, uh, our radius in here. Uh, and I'll just call this uh, rad for now. Um, and so we'll do mp dot, dot random dot random again of size n in here and we want to multiply this by 1.5 um, so again that we have this kind of we'll have it's kind of like a bubble chart is what we're going to be making um, and so it'll look hopefully like a kind of like a rainbow colored a bubble shade um, so let's also do uh, some colors in here and we'll do something like um, let's put in some standard hex um, so, O two x. Um, let's see, O two x. O two x. All right. And so, what we'll do with this is now we'll be able to actually create up uh, some coloration. So we want in here um, an integer uh, for R. Um, int for G, int uh, for, uh, we actually don't want a B in here. Um, let's do for 150, okay? Uh, for R, G, N, um, let's do zip in here. Uh, 50 plus, plus, uh, 2 times x, and then we'll do something like 30 uh, plus 2 times y. Um, I have an extra, extra one of you guys, don't I? There we go. All right, so that will be our uh, consistency of our colors. Now let's go on and create up for our box annotation. Uh, and we want uh, left to be zero, our right to be zero, our bottom to equal zero, zero, uh, our top to be zero. Again, we don't want any margins in here. Um, then we want in here our fill alpha is going to be 0 0.1. We want them very translucent. Then let's do line color in here. Uh, we're going to call them black. Oh, did I not put a, I didn't put a comma there. Uh, and then we want in here our fill color is going to be black. So let's also grab in just a little bit of um, JavaScript code, uh, JS code. And I'm going to actually just put this in here and so that it's a little bit easier for us to, to read. I've had some um, people say that it's better to put it in as a variable for us. Uh, so we'll do box in here of r is equal to our callback object 
uh, dot start. Uh, and then we also want in here box r is equal to our cb object of end. Okay, so that's going to be our JavaScript callback code for this particular piece. Um, so let's also go on and create up our plots. Uh, title here is uh, pan and zoom here. X range um, here is 0 to 100. And then we want our Y range is also going to be uh, 0 to 100. Um, then what else are we going to want in here? Um, let's give it some tools. So we want uh, box zoom. Uh, we want wheel zoom. Uh, and we want pan and pan and reset. Um, let's go on and also give us some height. So we'll do a plot width in here of 500, a plot height of 500 uh, as well. What did not, uh, I think that should be okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. All right, so then now let's move on to actually uh, putting down our, uh, our, our plot itself. So let's do uh, p1 dot um, uh, circle in here and we'll do something like x, y, uh, uh, radius in here is rad. Uh, then we have fill. Uh, color is equal to colors. We have our fill alpha is equal to 0 0.5. Our line color in here is going to be none because we don't want the circle to have any type of fill on it whatsoever. Um, so let's go on and create up our X custom callback in here. Uh, and so this is a uh, custom JS. We want in here our arguments is going to be the dict of our box is equal to box. Um, then we have our code. Okay, so this is uh, what we're doing here with this arg. Okay, this is actually creating up um, the um, callback object that we're wanting to reference. So see here, it's uh, this box is equal to box. Well, that's because now we're able to access that box inside our JavaScript code here. So which we will say um, code is equal to JavaScript code, okay? Um, and what do we want to pass in to, to that? We're going to pass in um, a left and we want to pass in a right, okay? So I'm gonna copy this, paste that down here, and then we want to paste in here um, a, a bottom and a top of y. So what we're what we're doing in here is because we're technically going to be panning something in one um, in one canvas, okay? Then we want the uh, something to happen inside of the other canvas as well for it to pan as well. So we'll have this a uh, little bit of interaction going on there, and we can't do that without actually. Um, uh, uh, without actually having these linkages. So and that's this left, right, top, bottom. So then we're going to be able to show uh, where that box needs to be created at. Um, now we have we have our custom JS callbacks actually created. Now we actually need to tell it what to do to in, enact on that particular set of, um, of data. So specifically we want it to do something with this P1 Okay, so what, when, are, when is it going to call it? So first off, we'll do p1.x uh, range.js on change. So whenever it changes, the start, okay, we want the x callback. Uh, p1.x uh, range.js on change for the end. Okay, and again, here we can see um, this is for the start. Start, 
and then for the end, okay? So that's why we have to have these two different lines, okay? So we have the start and end, and again, we need this x callback. And then we're going to do uh, the same thing. I'm gonna just copy these, paste them here, and we're gonna go on and change this for the uh, y as well. Uh, y, then let's go over here, change this to y, and this as well to y. All right, so last thing that we're going to need to do is actually create up our second figure, which is going to display um, where this was all highlighted. So P2 is equal to figure, uh, some title here, and it says uh, C zoom uh, window here. Uh, and so our X range is going to be in here 0 to 100. Our Y range is going to be 0 to 100 as well. Uh, then we want in here tools, and we don't want any tools in here. Uh, our plot width, again, is 500. Our plot height is 500. Um, make sure I got those, okay. Uh, and then let's actually go to P2 dot uh, circle. In here, x, y, uh, radius is going to be our rad variable, our fill color. In here is going to be our colors, because again, we want this basically to be identical. Um, fill alpha is equal to 0 0.5. Mm, excuse me, was that 0 0.5? Bo, 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 yep. Yeah. And then our line color was uh, none. Finally, uh, we want p2.add uh, layout in here, and that's going to be the box. And then our layout is equal to our row, p1, p2, uh, and then show layout. So let's take a look. Whoops. Um, cannot assign to literal. So what didn't it like? Here. Hmm. Oh, whoops. That doesn't belong there. There we go. All right. Um, arg needs to be args. Args, 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 args. Mm. Yep. I went over here. Um, args and args. All right. So now we actually have our plot going. So what we should be able to do now is move this, and you can see that the pan changes for that area, okay? As we move this, it shows that selected area. Now, uh, maybe something we would want to do is make this uh, stand out a little bit more. Uh, maybe we would want to be able to um, add a save feature or an export, export the data of that selected item. Um, but again, it's just, just something that we can kind of uh, think about um, in this, but again, this is a great way to show that we can use the small little bit of JavaScript code to uh, greatly enhance our uh, bokeh code and our visualizations uh, with bokeh in Python. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.